What's up, I'm Mess This Multiverse, and today we're gonna be talking about Beerus's past. Now, this far into the series, I think we can start to reconstruct Beerus's past based on little bits and tidbits of information here and here throughout the series. So Beerus was born way before the existence of Majin Buu because of what the Elder Kai said, how there was an enemy in his time. He said that the enemy was, he wasn't as terrifying as Majin Buu, but he was still pretty bad or or pretty evil depending on what translation or dub you're talking about uh he didn't make it sound like beerus was as strong as majin buu because my theory is at the time i don't think he was as strong as majin buu so beerus was born before the existence of majin buu and he was born a prodigy and i think his personality was very similar to what we see today where i don't think he was evil but i think he was kind of like a vegeta type where he was very powerful and he would go around doing his own thing and if people got in his way i think he would destroy him and if they didn't i think he'd leave him home i don't think he had a core evil personality like like kid boo did or sell but i think over time i don't think he hardcore trained or anything but since he was i think he was such a prodigy that he was born of the same race as champa as well i think champa was a prodigy as well i think they were the two strongest of the race and they i don't think they had to train that much to get very powerful but i think they would go around causing i'll use the word mischief and a lot of other causing maybe small bouts of problems here and here but i don't think they're anything evil i don't think they're destroying like solar system the galaxy or anything but i also don't think that they were born gods or they didn't have to be born gods now i know a lot of people are just going to disagree with me on this but throughout the series they said over and over and over that they asked if Goku and Vegeta are trained to become the next gods of destruction. What that means to me is that you do not have to be a god to become the god of destruction. They will either make you a god or maybe even just having god keys enough. But I don't think Beerus and, and Champa were necessarily born gods. Now, another thing we know is at some point, something must have happened to the current gods of destruction, Uver 6 and 7. And they were probably hanging around and most likely Zeno appointed them to be a new god to destruction because of their incredible power. They're just kind of laying around, you know, in their universes and Zeno must have caught eye of them because of their incredible fighting power because they are most likely prodigies. And I think he appointed them as God's new god to destruction. Now, Beerus also feared the Elder Kai at one point, and he sealed him up in the Z-Sora. Now, why he did this, there's only two reasons I can think of. One is because he did, in fact, fear his power to unlock people's potential, and he could have made someone stronger than... Think about Ultimate Gohan could have maybe defeated Beerus at the time of when Majin Buu was around. Because Beerus, I think, got a lot stronger over time. We said he trained him up. And I don't think he was born with the same amount of power he has today. So it is quite possible he feared the Elder Kai's powers enough to destroy him. Another thing is he, maybe he sealed the Elder Kai way so there would always be a god of creation left so some, nobody could kill the Supreme Kai and kill him. But we saw with Trunks' timeline that doesn't always work as planned. Whereas Trunks' Z-Sword got destroyed and then the Supreme Kai died in the fight with Bobbity And then he ended up dying anyway. So that might not have been a guaranteed a way for it to work also the other kai might not have been the god of the creation anymore it might have been assigned to the supreme kai so that's another reason why that might not work i'm also going to make a prediction he might have actually even been weaker than kid boo uh when kid boo was around for the first time with bibbity but i think after majin boo became dormant i think that's when he became a lot lot stronger and somewhere around that time is when he got playing god of destruction and then Weez i think was appointed to train Beerus and Weez actually trained with Bados. that's what is actually stated so that's where he got a lot of his power from was from his, his, his sister and then I think once Weez trained with Beerus I think that's when he kind of took on the traits and his powers that he has today I also think once he became extremely strong by training with Weez and maybe partially training on his own, I also think he got very lazy in this time and that's why he ordered Frieza to destroy plants such as Planet Vegeta and he had other people do his work for him so he was extremely lazy. Once he became as strong as he was, he's like I don't need to become any stronger, I don't need to train. Hell I don't even need to do my job because I could have someone do it for me. And that kind of leads up to like what he's like today. We have the lazy yet powerful and feared Beerus. And I feel like that's kind of all they revealed so far. 
as the, the series goes on, I think they're going to reveal more and more about his past. But honestly, I think I find this really interesting. I think it's starting to add up, like how he came to be. Anyways, guys, I already hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something. Uh, or maybe you made some new connections in your head of how these all these things relate to each other, all the gods, and how Beerus came to be. Let me know in the comments if you have any more theories or predictions involving Beerus' past or future. I'll read them like always. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next video.